Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to crochet this pretty little coaster in the shape of a hen, a nice Easter souvenir. This coaster is about 4 inches in diameter, but can be easily made bigger or smaller depending on the kind of thread you are going to use. I am going to use white cotton thread, size 10, and a little yellow and red thread of the same size. My hook is almost 2 millimeters, 1.95 millimeters. We'll start here in the center with a magic loop in which we'll make two rounds of single crochet stitches, 10 stitches in each round. I'm making a magic loop like this. We'll make it a little smaller. The first single crochet will be a chain one and then I'll continue making single crochets. This will be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'll close the magic loop and we'll make a slip stitch in the first chain which I made instead of the first single crochet. I have 10 single crochets now. I'll make another chain instead of the first single crochet and we'll continue making single crochets again. So now I have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And once again, a slip stitch in the first chain, which was this one. Ten single crochets now. In the next round, we'll also be making ten single crochets, but there will be chain eleven between those single crochets and as a result will form nine those chain 11 arches chain one instead of the first single crochet and 11 more three six nine eleven a single crochet in the next stitch Chain 11, 6, 9, 11, a single crochet, chain 11, nine, eleven, a single crochet, and continue making those chain 11 arches, make five more, and then I'll show you how to finish this round. I now have eight, those chain 11 arches, instead of the last one, I'll make chain seven, seven, and a triple crochet in the last stitch. Like this. Now we are going to start turning work over in each row. So before continuing, I am going to fasten off this thread. I'll pull it to this side, which we started as the front side, right side. And I will pass the needle through a few threads in at least two different directions to fix this magic loop. 
see. Now I can cut it off. In row four, in each of these chain 11 spaces, we'll be making six single crochets to the total of 54 single crochets. So I'll turn work over and we'll start making those single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now I'm working in the next chain 11 space. Two, three, four, five, six, and sin six single crochets in the next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, and continue working this pattern. Make six more groups of six single crochets. This is what it looks like now. Row five will be exactly the same. We'll be making a single crochet in each single crochets, 54 total. Instead of the first one, we'll make chain one here, and then we'll skip this first single crochet. We'll start making single crochets in the next five. So I have made six, counting this chain one as the first stitch. And now groups of six. One, two, three, four, five, six and so on continue making single crochets please in the next row we'll continue making those groups of six single crochets but between them we'll be making chain three and we'll also start reducing the number of single crochets here at the beginning and at the end they will be five here and five here this time like the previous round we'll start this round or row with chain one but this time we'll skip not one but two single crochets we are counting this chain one as the first one now this is the second the third the fourth and the fifth five single crochets here and chain three now six one we are not skipping any stitches here two three four five six chain three once again, without skipping any stitches, we'll continue making six single crochets. Three, four, five, six, chain three, and continue this pattern on your own, please. At the end of the row, after making chain three and four single crochets, skip one and make the last one in this chain one that started the previous row, like this. In row seven, instead of six single crochets, we'll be making four, and between them, chain three, a single crochet in chain three space, and chain three. We will also continue reducing the number of single crochets here at the beginning and at the end. There will be three left on both sides. So once again, we'll start with chain one, 
this will be our first single crochet and we'll skip two this one and this one we'll make single crochets in the next two single crochets and we'll skip the last one also because this time we'll need to make chain three two times so chain three a single crochet in chain three space chain three skip the first single crochet and make single crochets in the next four two three four skip the last one chain three a single crochet in chain three space chain three skip the first one make four single crochets skip the last one chain three a single crochet chain three and this is the pattern for this row at the end make chain three skip a single crochet make two single crochets and then one more skipping this one make the last one in this chain one three single crochets in the last uh, white row instead of four single crochets we'll be making two with chain three single crochet chain three single crochet chain three between and here on the sides we'll have just one single crochet left because we have only three single crochets here left we'll just turn work over skip the first one we'll make a single crochet in the second we need to skip the last one in order to make chain three three times so chain three a single crochet in chain three space chain three a single crochet in next chain three space and chain three skip the first and the last single crochet in each group and make two single crochets in the middle chain three a single crochet chain three a single crochet chain three and once again skip the first one make two skip the last one chain three and continue to the next group of chain three three times at the end of the row after last chain three skip the first single crochet and make a single crochet in the next one before cutting off white thread we'll make a row of single crochets to make smoother these sides there is no exact science here so just make single crochets using one or two threads make them pretty tight pretty close to each other and uh, four or five in this space once again tight close single crochets maybe one more one single crochet here between the beginning and uh, the end and uh, move to the next side once again four five single crochets in this space and uh, then just see how it goes maybe four or five also
and the last one I'll make a slip stitch. That's it. Now we can cut off white thread. Now we'll be using yellow thread to make a head, a beak, and um, a trim of the coaster. For the head, we'll make 10 triple crochets. Um, I'll explain the beak later. And for each of these decorative elements, we'll make seven double crochet stitches. We'll be making 10 triple crochet stitches in this chain three, the first chain three of three chains in this part. So I'll join the yellow thread approximately where I finished making this white trim. We need to be a little away from chain three. So I've joined the thread and now I'm beginning to make triple crochets. The first one, and I'll work this yellow thread in. The second. The third. And continue making triple crochets. Four now. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Ten triple crochets. Now make a single crochet in the second chain three space and a single crochet in the next one. Now for the beak we made a single crochet, chain one, a double crochet in the same place, chain two for a small picot, a slip stitch in the double crochet, another double crochet in the same space, chain one to get down to the single crochet, and we are done with the beak. In the next chain three space, we'll make three single crochets. One, two, three. This is the place where the beard will be. And now the trim. In the next, in the middle of three chain three spaces, we'll be making seven double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In the last of three, we'll be making a single crochet, then chain two, a single crochet in the next chain three space, and seven double crochets here in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In the last chain three space, a single crochet, skip two single crochets, chain two, a single crochet, seven double crochets, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, a single crochet, chain two, and repeat this pattern until the end. At the end, after making the last single crochet, make two more. One and the two. Actually, the last one can be a slip stitch. Like this. Now we'll turn work over and we'll continue making the trim, which will consist of single crochets in each double crochet and chain two between them. And we'll work this way until we get here to the beard. Here we have two extra single crochets and we will make trim in them. So we'll start with chain two, turn work over and make a single crochet, chain two, a single crochet chain two now we are beginning making single crochets in double crochets single crochet chain two a single crochet chain two a single crochet chain two repeat it again and again chain two last double crochet here we are not working in single crochets on both sides we'll just make chain two and a single crochet in this chain two space chain two and once again skip this single crochet make a single crochet in this double crochet chain two a single in the double chain two a single crochet 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 in the last double chain two a single crochet in chain two space chain two and begin working in this group of seven double crochets please and continue working like this until you reach this group of seven double crochets and then cut off and uh, fasten off the thread Now we'll be using red thread to make a comb and a beard. The comb is made exactly the same way as the beak. And here I have the comb consisting of six parts. But now I think five should be enough. So I will be making five this time. We'll be making the comb on 10 triple crochets. So I counted the 10th triple crochet from the left and um, i connected the thread i will make chain one instead of the first single crochet and chain one for the height now a double crochet chain two a slip stitch to make a little pico and now in the second triple crochet i will make the next double crochet chain one to go down to the single crochet and each of five parts will be made the same way on two triples in the first one we'll make a single crochet chain one a double crochet chain two a pico using a slip stitch and now in the next triple crochet a double crochet chain one 
and a single crochet in the next two we are making the next part a single crochet chain one a double crochet chain two a slip stitch and in the next triple a double crochet chain one a single crochet finish the comb on your own please I have finished the comb and now the last part, the beard or the wattle, which we'll be making on these three single crochets. I am inserting the hook in the first one, chain one instead of the first single crochet, chain one, a double crochet two double crochets in the next stitch one two one double crochet in the last one chain one and a single crochet and that's it cut off and fasten off the thread this coaster doesn't have to be starched. It can be just ironed well um, on both sides through cotton cloth. But if you want it to be harder and kind of feel more substantial, you might want to starch it. I have a video on my channel on how to shape crocheted things and how to starch them. Watch it if you want to. This is it for today. If you liked the video, please push the like button. And if you want to be informed of all the new developments on the channel, consider subscribing and pushing the notification bell. Thanks for watching this video. See you next time. Bye-bye.